software engineering is super lucrative, and as you might know, that there's a lot of software engineers that are making a ton of money, especially living either in San Francisco or New York City. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're currently watching this video, you are probably thinking about wanting to become someone like me, who is currently a software engineer and part-time YouTuber. I couldn't help but wonder how is my life experience really impact and pointing me towards who I am today, and I want to kind of share with you guys a little bit about my journey. So let's begin. When I was born, I was this little Vicky who is just curious about every different forms of arts and music. I was extremely fascinated by animes and also different kinds of forms of films. As I was in elementary school, I did take a little bit of animation, and back in the days, I think that was called flash. As I grow older, I went to high. School, and I actually went to high school in three different countries. In my first year in high school, I was in China, and the education was super intense. I was learning Chinese, English, math, science, everything. I remember on my 16th birthday, my dad actually got my first video recorder, and that was the best thing in the entire world. After a year in high school, I actually. Moved to the U.S. all by myself. I was part of this exchange student program, and I was living with a American family in Pennsylvania for a whole year. School languages, cultures, all of it. It was such a fascinating experience, and from time to time, it can be also super. Culturally shocked because it was so different from the cultures that I was growing up with. My last year in high school, I actually went to Canada. I've taken a lot of different courses such as finance, marketing. I was a little bit more interested into consulting, and I've learned that if you wanted to be a consultant, you probably need to start. Really getting into business administration or finance or anything that is relating to business. So because I thought that I was interested in finance and I want to go to a really good business school, so that decision leads me back to. Universities, and I was major in finance, which is really popular back in my days. Okay, <laughs> I sound so old. I have this huge, compelling interest in going back to the U.S. My dream was going to move to New York City eventually and get into finance. So when I was in university, I was exploring my different interests. I even took some courses in arts, and I was taking nutrition classes, finance, and statistics. I also took some courses in marketing, and I also took a internship in marketing and operation, which actually did not really give me a ton of experience in the field that I actually going to become today. But I did learn something about marketing. So I was minor. In MIS, which stands for Management Information System, and this course is not really a computer course, and that's probably the first ever computer course that I've ever taken. That lead me landing my first job. I gotta say, when I took my first job as a data analyst, I did not have anything to expect. I absolutely hated that job. I was kind of depressed、um, for a little bit. I was confused. I didn't know where my passion is. I didn't feel like I was super excited for finance. I didn't feel like I was super excited for anything except for just filming everywhere. So I started my first YouTube channel back in 2016. But long story short, that did not really came out the same way that I thought it would be. Obviously, it was way too much work 
to maintain on that channel, and I wasn't truly passionate about what I was talking about, and I was pretty much just lost in my career at that point. So hold on here. How does that even leading me to? Coding, right? That is completely different. So recently, I actually started reading this book, Atomic Habit, by James Clear. In one of the chapters, he said, "In the beginning of a new activity, there should be a period of exploration." And now that when I'm thinking about my past journeys, I really remember that I was fascinated by so many different things in my life, like. Arts, music, marketing, math, science—all different kinds of stuff that really just a great exploration for me. And the reason that I make this video is to remind you there are times that you might feel super confused and you don't know what you want in your life. The first and the most important thing that you have to think about is what feels like fun to me, but. Work to others. What that means is, for example, when I was editing, filming, just putting things together in a very creative way. This I know for a fact is something that I really enjoy. And the idea of just knowing computer and being able to use computer in some sort of way, I was curious about programming. But at that point in my life, I was like, there's no way. That I can program. I was not a programmer. I never went to school for this. Forget about everyone who tells you that you can't do things. Put your fingers in your ear and start listening and start working. The minute that you are paying attention to other people telling you that you can't do something, the minute you are going to lose on proving that they're wrong. So. I want you to be laser focused on your goal, and that's what I did. Instead of actually going to spend more time working at a job that I hate, and I wasn't feeling fulfilling, I decided it would make sense to me to leave and actually spending a full time on going to a coding bootcamp. To me, that was the closest to get to where I want because I have limited time and I have limited money. When I first started coding bootcamp, I was also sharing my learning journey on social media, YouTube, Instagram, to make myself accountable. So, in the first episode in 2018, September the 10th, I wanted to say that I want to become a coder. Yes, you can quote me on that. It was one of those things where. If you tell the world that you're going to do something, you're not gonna back out. Like you feel like you're obligated to get it done. In a lot of my earlier posts, if you notice, is mostly of me sharing my learning journey, explaining some technical concepts to the world based on how I understand that concept, and that leads to a lot of you guys reaching out to me, asking questions, and sharing your experience as you're learning how to code, and everything just came into place. And here I am, years later. I am a software engineer working in New York City, and I am also a content creator. At least I call myself a content creator. That sharing my tips and my life and my journey and my stories with every one of you who's sitting at home and watching this video. That journey was so amazing because I know that I get to share. My journey and motivate people and inspire people in the entire world to do something about their lives to make them happier than where they are. And if you are watching this, and you are at this point in your life that you feel confused, you aren't sure what to do, just remember one thing: that when I was starting my journey, I did not know what I want to do. But what I do know is following my intuition, following my happiness. What makes you happy? You can pick it up, refine the purpose, and that is the most important thing: is to follow your passion and also follow your instincts. What makes you happy? You should probably 
do it. I hope that this video just brings you that little push. If you are curious about how to learn to code or what does a software engineer do a day of my life, make sure that you check out these two videos over here. And until next time, I will talk to you soon. Be safe. Peace.